Money managers you know, don't want to lag the indexes at the dollar itself. Um, in my opinion, it's just going... Yeah, the models are getting long gold and short the dollar. Welcome to the Trading Desk, where money talks. I'm Jesse Felder here with Matt Davio. Dave Floyd is out this week. Decimated by the swine flu. Decimated by the swine We're flu. We're one third down. Absolutely. So we let's let's take a look at some of the uh, charts over the past couple of weeks. We've had uh, continued bull rush in the S and P, Jesse. I mean, uh, things just uh, aren't slowing down. We'll start with the Nasdaq here a little. Uh, take a look at this chart. This has been just an awesome rally. I mean, from these spring lows, you know, thousand to, up to, to 1,800, eighty percent move, just about seventy-five percent move. It's pretty spectacular. It's one of the biggest rallies in history. I mean, that I've probably seen in my career. With again, really, maybe one small pullback of maybe five percent back in there. I don't think it was any more than that. Mm -hmm. but one thing Dave pointed out on this chart here is, uh, is we're seeing uh, some declining momentum on the uh, RSI, which is uh, showing, again, some weakening in the momentum. And what I think is interesting is that sentiment is improving. People are, are getting all excited about Dow 10,000 and all these things that are happening. At the same time, momentum is yeah. declining. So it's, it's kind of ironic <coughs> how that works. Well, you know that Dow 10,000 hat that they brought out in uh, 99. 1999. Is right. now, I think it's 64 times I've gotten to use it. So <laughs> yeah. 64 it's been, times it's you know, and that's, crossed 10,000. That's 10, amazing. I mean, you know, uh, Brokers basically were, you know, back in '99, you got to buy stocks, you got to be in the stock market, yeah. and if you had, you know, listened to the, to the jar, you know, the the sales pitch, you, you know, you made no money over yeah. the last ten Decade. years, ten, ten years plus. Yeah. So had some fun though. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It's been a wild <laughs> ride, no doubt. Next so, chart here is uh, gold. Uh, again, gold. Uh, we're showing here on the chart a possible. Uh, Dave says if we break 1024, uh, it could be the top for now. Uh, but again, 1075, we've pushed up here and uh, continues to go higher. Uh, let's rip to the next chart here because I think uh, we want to bring up a point uh, further on gold, but that'll have to follow. This is the 10 year rate. Again, Dave said he was short last time. I said I was long. Mm -hmm. So uh, the long, higher interest rates have come. Short the ZN has worked out, and uh, interest rates again. Uh, looking a, a bit higher still. Looks like look they look like they found some support there, some key levels. Yep, they started to bounce a little bit, and they're back up above this the support line. So and again, uh, with the printing of money, we've got to have higher interest rates. They, eventually, yeah, they, eventually, they just have to go higher. Yep. Next chart is uh, again the dollar. We keep talking about the elusive the bottom. daily chart, daily chart, and it still just keeps getting lower and lower. Uh, you know, the thing on the next chart, it'll show that it hasn't made a lower low than we made last year. So uh, there's so much talk about yeah. a weak, weak dollar, and people are starting to, to get really worried about it right. and panic, but we're actually not hitting any new lows, which is something I, I find right. interesting. Is that, you know, the, the sentiment is getting so negative towards the dollar that I think it has, yeah, to, again, find, it has to find a bottom. Was there 3% right. bulls on the, on the dollar <laughs> side? I mean, is there, there's, anybody, right, is there right. anybody that believes in the and dollar that's, anymore? That's the kind of trade yeah. that I love. Is I nobody's willing to get long. Nobody wants to I get agree. long. That's the time you know, the, the, to, to buy it. The next chart shows the, uh, the, the weekly chart of the dollar, I believe. And, and again, um, showing kind of maybe a double bottom, maybe, you know, but it hasn't broken out either. So it's too early to call. Again, nothing's really been proven here. We might have, uh, you, know, looking, you know, looking back on that daily, we might have one more push lower. But until we break out of that, uh, you know, that, that, that band there, it's, it's kind of stuck in the muck. Right, absolutely. And then the last chart, I, I think we may have one more uh, talking about gold. And you talked about it. At least yeah. let's talk about it because, you know, right. there's an article and there's a number of people out there talking about gold. Gold's getting so popular. Harrods just started selling gold to its, its retail customers, <laughs> which I, I found, you know, that's, that's fascinating. And, you know, when, they, when, you know, big department, you know, store yeah. says, hey, we got to get in on this. Let's right. start selling gold bars to our customers. Yeah. That's a sign that that trend is just, I mean, it's, it's so popular. It's to the point where those well, incremental buyers are going to be really far to, hard, hard to find. It's almost like the models a year ago that were saying, I want to, I want to be paid in euro. And that exactly. was almost, you know, that Well, was, that was when the dollar made the, the real the, bottoms, when everybody got so negative. Right. You know, and so, and, but that negativity is approaching again, yeah. and it has the, that river, you know, convex uh, negative or positivity with gold. And right. so it's, I think they're going to yeah. both, I think we're, uh, we're both seeing reverse the same trend. thing again. You know, the models are getting yeah. long gold yeah. and short the dollar at the ultimate worst time. We got to take a break. We went to the Ben Venture Conference uh, last week and we're going to get to that when we come back. Stay tuned.